Hey there fellow music lovers. Well today we're going to show you how to use the vinyl flat record flattener to repair warps and dishes in your vinyl records. The vinyl flat is a deceptively simple product. It consists of two metal pieces. The top piece is heavier and it provides the correct amount of weight needed to flatten a vinyl record. And the lighter bottom piece is here. We'll take it apart here and you'll see the groovy rings. The groovy rings are polymer uh, plastic pieces that contact the record playing surface. And we've taken the protective paper covering off to use the product and we'll show you uh, how to use it in just a second. So to get started, again, peel the protective paper that covers the groovy rings and be sure to clean the record uh, and the groovy rings themselves. Once we have the clean record, and a clean vinyl flat and the groovy rings are all clean, we're ready to uh, assemble the vinyl flat. This is super easy. So you just thread the bolt up from the center hole and uh, then you take one of the groovy rings and center it uh, onto the vinyl flat, just like that. Take your record and just drop it down over the bolt. Then take the next groovy ring and this one you just center over the record label, like so. And then finally, we lower the top piece down over the bolt and secure the record. Now, using the cap here, you don't need to put a bunch of force on it. All the force is provided by the weight of the top piece of the vinyl flap. So don't start cranking the, the knob down real hard. All you have to do is turn it until it starts to turn the vinyl flat, like that, and you're, you're good to go. Today we'll be using a kitchen oven as the heat source to speed up the repair process. Now, you don't have to use heat with the vinyl flat, but it may take a very long time to flatten a warped record without a heat source. So we're going to set our kitchen oven to the bake function at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's um, 65 degrees Celsius and we'll give it about 30 minutes to warm up and stabilize at 150. So with the record secured in the vinyl flat, we're ready to put it in the oven. We recommend placing the vinyl flat on a piece of tin foil or a large cookie sheet to protect the vinyl flat finish. So we place the vinyl flat on the center rack of the heated oven and close it up and we'll wait for the heating cycle to complete. The vinyl flat comes with detailed heating and cooling instructions and you absolutely must follow those directions to avoid damaging your record. You can also find these instructions on our website at www.vinylflat.com. So a few words about the heating cycle. Uh, most vinyl records weigh between 110 and 160 grams. That's around three and a half to just over five ounces. If you have a kitchen scale, you should use it to confirm the weight of the record because all the vinyl flat heating cycles are based on the weight of the record. If you don't have a scale or you don't know the weight of the record, always start with a 30 minute heating cycle. Okay, so when the heating cycle is completed, the vinyl flat metal surfaces are gonna be pretty hot. Use oven mitts to remove the vinyl flat from the oven and then place the vinyl flat on a non-porous surface. Avoid placing a hot vinyl flat on a porous surface like wood or any surface that may be damaged by exposure to the heat. Always wait until the vinyl flat is cool to the touch before removing the record and this is really important. Typically the cooling cycle is around 45 minutes to an hour and once the vinyl flat is cool then you can unscrew the twist on cap and take the record out and check it on your turntable. Next, check the record on your turntable. Depending on the chemical composition of the record and the severity of warping, the record may require another heating cycle to repair the warp. If this is the case, lengthen the next heating cycle time by three minutes. So for example, if the recommended heating cycle was 35 minutes, increase the next heating cycle to 38 minutes. 
Once your record warps have been reduced to a satisfactory playable level, we recommend that you stop using the vinyl flap because repeatedly exposing a record to heat and pressure to try to obtain a perfectly flat playing surface can increase the possibility of groove distortion and needs to be avoided. Well, we hope this video has been helpful. Please check our website for the latest info on the vinyl flat and happy listening.